I've got a hair dryer and I'm not afraid to use it. Hello everyone, my name is Chloe May and welcome to my channel and welcome to my bathroom. This is my bathroom dance, apparently. Copyrighted, I copyrighted. If this is the first time you're seeing my face on your computer screen, welcome. You look so good today. Love the outfit, you're, just, you're killing it. So for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I got this on my head. It's a weave, just kidding, it's not. I'm gonna be showing you guys how I curl my hair every time I curl it. I love it, it's easy, because I am not a beauty girl. I cannot do fancy hair things, but this is easy, so this is what I do. I'm doing a photo shoot with a photographer later today, and I have to get ready for it, so I was like, might as well turn this baby on and show you guys how I get ready. Also, be sure to follow me on Instagram, because I will be posting all the photos that I take today with this hairstyle and everything, and I post a lot of photography and just fun stuff on there, too. Let's get to the tutorial. I hope you enjoy it, and let's go. So when I curl my hair, I use a curling iron like this one here. This is a Conair like clamp one. Um, I think it's like a five inch barrel, I think. Don't quote me on that. It's just your standard curling iron. I think I got it from like Target for like $15 like five years ago. So I'm clearly up to date on the hottest new products. But it works great and it does what it needs to do, which is all that matters. So I'm just gonna give my hair a little brush through to make sure that there's no knots or anything before I start. Now what I'm gonna do is section off my hair, which is a really important part, especially if you want to get like tons of volume and just you want to have those Marilyn Monroe beautiful curls because who doesn't want that so I'm gonna start like at the top of my ears and I'm gonna go all the way up like this and then I'm just gonna put all of this hair into like a uh, kind of like a bun on the top of my head just so it doesn't get in the way of the hair that I'm gonna curl first so I'm gonna just do this and we're done with the whole look I look like a peacock <laughs> So at the back of my neck, I'm just going to separate it into two sections and bring it in front. You're going to take your curler, and what I do is I take kind of like two to three inches of hair just because I don't like super tight curls, like pinup curls. I like just more of like the wavy beach look. So I'm going to take this amount of hair in my hand, and then we're going to clamp it on, move it all the way down, leave about like three inches, and then curl it up. And the reason why I leave like three inches of hair at the bottom is because I really like the look where it's like, it's wavy and then it's straight at the end because it looks less like super, super curly. It just looks more natural and it looks more, more like beachy and fun. That's just my personal opinion, but if you want to go all the way to the end to make like a full curl, then you could totally do that too. And then I hold it for about like 10 to 15 seconds and then I let it go. And there is your first curl. And you can see what I was talking about, like, see how it's kind of like straight at the very bottom? I really like that look. It just makes it look more natural and like, just more messy. I like the messy look. For this one, I'm actually going to curl it in the opposite direction because it looks, to me, the curls look better when it's like all going in different directions or else it looks like too uniform. So I'm gonna do the same thing, leave about two inches and then curl all the way up to my scalp. And again, I'm just gonna hold this for like 10 to 15 seconds to make sure I get my curl. All right, I'm gonna let it out and there you go. And as you can see, like it looks a lot more natural when it's like going this way and then this one's going that way. It just looks like not as super clean. I think I just like the messy look. And I think I have room for one more curl, so I'm gonna take this last section right here and I'm gonna do it away from my face, leave about two inches at the bottom, and then curl it up. And then I'm gonna let it go, and that is your curl. So this bottom section on this side is done, I'm gonna move on to this side. So same deal on the side, take about two to three inches of hair, and then clamp it on away from your face for the first piece, go down about two. Uh, leave two inches and then go all the way up. Do, 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 do. Ten seconds is up, so I'm gonna let it go. And there's your curl. And now we have room for one more. So I'm gonna finish that up and then we'll go on to the next section. This one's a little bit harder because it's like all the way in the back, but I'm I'm trying my best. Okay, so this bottom layer is done just have like these little curls and it's okay if they're like not perfect or if they look like super tight right now because we're gonna fix that all in the end. Now we're gonna take this hair down and section it off a second time. I got a lot of hair, like I have like thick Asian hair so if you have like thinner hair you may only need to do two layers but for my hair I gotta do three because it's, it's a lot. So what I do is kind of just like put it all forward and then I kind of go from like my eye line and bring this hair up. And the hair that I'm putting up right now, they're kind of like my bang, so it's the hair that's gonna fall on top of everything else, which is why um, I wanna section it off. So same thing, taking about two inches, I'm going to 
go away from my face for this first piece, leave about two inches at the bottom, and then go all the way up to here. And then let it go, and there you have a cute little curl. Look how cute it is. So for this next piece, you wanna make sure it's going towards your face. So I'm gonna put the barrel this way, flip it over, leave about two inches, and then roll it up. So now we're gonna bring this down, and then we have a curl going this way. So this just adds like a lot of volume to your hair. So if everything is going in one like direction, then it's gonna look like too uniform and clean and I think it just looks kind of weird. But if you're having it all like different curls going in different directions, it's gonna be like super voluminous. So I'm gonna finish up the rest of the side, but all I'm doing is alternating between um, going inwards and then going outwards. exact thing I'll show you like the first couple pieces and then I'll speed things up a bit all right so we're taking the first piece that's framing your face and we're gonna go away from your face leave two inches and then roll it back up all right now we're gonna let it go release that curl now we're gonna take the second section and you're gonna go towards your face go down leave two inches Roll it back up. All right, now I'm gonna release it. There's your second curl. And now I'm gonna finish the rest of the side. You guys know how to do it, and we'll get to the next section after. All right, so we finished this layer as well. I'll show you guys the curls. Hopefully I didn't miss anything in the back, that'd be embarrassing. <laughs> All right, so now we have the last section. So we're gonna take down this section and it's gonna be a little different just because these are my bangs. So this is what is like framing my face, which is like the most important part. So what I'm gonna do is part my hair to like where I part my hair, which is on the side. So I'm gonna go like this. So this is the normal part of my hair and you wanna make sure that you part it off before you start curling it because then if you try to like flip it over it's gonna like it's gonna look really weird and you can kind of just like push the curls that are already done back a little bit because <laughs> what am i doing <laughs> and i'm gonna start on this side just because there's like barely any hair so we can just get this over with so again same concept it's really important that you do the first piece away from your face and then the next piece towards your face so going down two inches at the bottom and then curling it up and then i like to go all the way up I lost it. All right, let's try that again. So I like to go all the way up to um, like my roots for this first piece just because I want it to be super um, volumized and that's how you're gonna get that look. All right, 10 seconds is up, I'm gonna let it go. And here's your first curl. All right, so now for the second piece, we're going to go towards my face. We're gonna flip this around, grab it, two inches down, and then go all the way up to your roots. All right, 10 seconds, and drop it down, and there's your curl. All right, so this side is done, now we're gonna move on to this side, which gets a little a little more complicated just because um, the bangs are like the most important part. I take about, I think that's like maybe two to three inches, kind of the same, and we're gonna go away from your face for this one. Except when I curl my bangs, I don't start all the way at the root because I think it looks a little weird if it's like super high up, so we're gonna start just about maybe that, that far down, and do the same two inches and then curl up and then I don't go all the way up to the top I kind of stop right there just so it's not like the curl starts here that would like look really bizarre all right now I'm gonna release it and there is your bang curl all right so this next section you're gonna do the same thing except you're gonna go towards your face and this is gonna look really pretty if um, you alternate these two front pieces by your bangs it's gonna look super volumized and you can go all the way up to your roots for this one because you want it to make your hair bigger okay so now we're gonna release it and there's your second curl and see how it like they go towards each other it's prime all right I'm gonna finish off this last piece and this piece is gonna go away from my face like so and if you have any like stray hairs just go ahead and give it a curl because it's hard to get all of your hair um, at the same time so if you have tiny little pieces Go ahead and curl it so it blends in. All right, so the curls are done, but we haven't done the most fun part, and that is to mess it up. So what I do is I usually just like flip my hair over, and then I use my fingertips, start at my roots, and then just like go through all of my hair to break up all the curls, because look how like it looks so traditional and like way too weird. So I'm gonna do that, and then come back up and show you what it looks like. So we're flipping, and we're back. 
look how much of a difference it made just like separating the curls it makes it so much more like voluminous and fun and bouncy so you can still see that you have like the texture of the curls but it I think it just looks a lot more like messy and fun and summery and I'm just I am a fan but especially with my hair it doesn't really stay like the curls usually fall after a couple of hours and it's really sad when like you spend so much time making these awesome curls and then it kind of just dies like an hour later so we're gonna use some products and I need to go get those products be right back so what I'm gonna be using is the Garnier pure clean finishing paste um, I just picked this up from CVS I've never used it before but I was like hey let's try something new but you can pretty much use any kind of styling clay. I don't like to use hairspray just because it makes my hair like thick and crunchy and like I don't want it to look like I have hairspray in. I just want it to look like texturized. So this is what I'm using. So for most hair clays, I think it's pretty much the same thing. Basically what you do is you just take like a small dollop, about like maybe that much. And then you just like warm it up in your hands. So I'm just gonna put it on my palms, give it a little, one of these things. This is my first time using this product, so I really hope it works because it's looking kind of like liquidy. I don't know how I feel about that. So once you warm it up, basically what you do is you just run it through your hair and you just want to like crunch it upwards so you can get the volume. And I'm also scrunching up the bottom because this is where the curls are, so you just want to make sure that you're holding the curls in. You also want to make sure that you get the back too, don't forget about those curls. And the last thing I usually do with the clay is go through my roots because that is where um, the volume is like going to be really coming from. So I'm just going to go up kind of by my neck and just push it up. And it doesn't have to be perfect, like you really just kind of just go through your entire head. And that's about it. So hopefully these curls last throughout the day. It feels pretty sturdy so I really hope it does. But this is the final look. I'll show you guys the back. It's super bouncy, super wavy. I don't even have layers, but um, I can still get like this amount of volume just by curling it the way that I do. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this kind of like hair tutorial, get ready with me. Um, if you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can be updated on when I post new videos. Let me know if you like these kind of videos. I usually don't post beauty videos because I'm not a beauty guru, but if you do like videos like kind of fashion related, I would love to do more. I only want to post videos that you guys want to see. So. Let me know in the comments what other kind of beauty related 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 videos you want to see. You can follow me on all my social media accounts down in the down bar below. I love you guys so much and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.